A voltage stabilizer is a primary basis of today's power supply sources. Its technical characteristics determine the functionality of radio electronics. The circuits of different stabilizers are engineered in a variety of different ways, with each option having its own peculiarities and parameters. Integrated voltage stabilizers have gained the widest popularity. Power supply units based on these devices are described by the low number of additional electronic components, relatively low cost and electric characteristics. The majority of radio electronics operate off power supply units with an increased source in current. One of the options for using degraded stabilizers in power supply units is a voltage stabilizer with microchips connected in parallel. Let us look at how such stabilizers work using different examples and considering individual basic circuits. This circuit uses two microchips, KPEH5. The operational amplifier, DA1, rectifies a drop in voltage at R1 and R2 resistors. The output voltage of the amplifier that is supplied to output 2 of DA2 microchip affects the latter's operation in such a way that the current flowing through it becomes equal to the current flowing through DA3. That is why the overall peak current is added. To avoid the increase in the output voltage of the stabilizer without a load, we use a ballast, R6. This stabilizer is used with a load that consumes up to 6 amperes. And this is the second option. The three stabilizers, LM338, are connected in parallel. Comparing the voltage drop at R1 and R2 resistors, the operational amplifier rectifies currents on all three stabilizers. The minimum load current is equal to 100 mA, the minimum output voltage to 10 volt. The voltage drop at the output voltage regulator should exceed 3.5 volt. This stabilizer is used for a load of up to 15 amperes.